At this time last year, one of the big questions in the NFL is where would Matt Flynn end up? And he ended up in Seattle, and he did not start a single game for the Seahawks. Russell Wilson took over and had a great rookie season. And now we're back to square one, Eric. Where is Matt Flynn going to play next year? What should the Seahawks do with him? Well, the good thing is he's got a fairly reasonable quarterback uh, contract uh, from starter standpoint. Some team, in theory, could take him on and not be committing a huge amount of money to him. And that's why I think there's still a sliver of a chance that Flynn could remain in Seattle because Wilson's making third round money and they can't redo his deal per the CBA for another year. So obviously, that's a situation where if you look at the quarterback position, Seattle has only committed a certain amount of dollars to the entire position. Obviously, it's a little backwards, though, with Wilson being the starter and Flynn the backup. But let's assume for a minute that they have the opportunity to trade him. You know, that obviously would be the best thing for the Seahawks, add draft picks. You look at their rookie class from last year, it was outstanding. They find guys who fit their system. But I think they're going to have a hard time trading him with other guys on the market, like Vic, a number of quarterbacks in the draft, not elite prospects, but also Alex Smith, and so to me, there are just a limited amount of teams who could be interested in Flynn. And you have to imagine, Eric, that there's a lot of NFL teams out there that still are not sold on Matt Flynn sure. being the starting quarterback. I mean, I'm going to look back to the Miami Dolphins last year. Everyone thought it was a cinch that he'd end up in Miami. Joe Philbin yep. knew him from Green Bay, and, and that did not work out, and he ended up with, with Seattle. So with and the fact that he didn't start any games for Seattle, there's still not a lot of tape on this guy starting in big games in the NFL. Yeah, two starts in Green Bay, just some mop-up duty last year in Seattle. Obviously you got some preseason tape that could give you a decent idea of what he can do. But you don't have 16 games worth of tape on this guy, so there are still questions, especially with Philbin going to Miami in desperate need of quarterback and really showing no more than lukewarm interest. Seattle was his one desperate, I mean his one destination rather, where he really felt like he had a chance to start. He was penciled in until Wilson fell to them in round three. So to me, there are just only a handful of teams, Arizona, maybe Buffalo, you know, that, that would be possibilities. I don't think Philadelphia is interested. My best guess is that Kansas City would not be interested, although there is somewhat of a connection. John Dorsey, the GM, obviously saw Flynn up in, in Green Bay. Well, these four teams that we've talked about that are looking for a quarterback, Kansas City, Philadelphia, Arizona, Buffalo, they all have veteran quarterbacks there right now. Now there's contract questions, there's play on the field questions with Matt Castle, Kevin Cobb, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Michael Vick, but do these teams think that Matt Flynn would even be an upgrade at that position at this point, at this juncture? They'd have to be convinced that the rookie prospects in this draft are either A, not ready or just be not good enough to be a, an eventual star at the position. Now Flynn I think is is probably considered a lesser player to Alex Smith just given what he's accomplished. Maybe the chance for a slightly higher ceiling if this guy ever develops. You know, same thing with Matt Shaw. We didn't really know what he was when he left Atlanta. Has turned out to be a pretty decent quarterback in Houston. But uh, are you gambling that the ceiling is that much higher than Alex Smith? Personally, I would take Smith and assume that he could be my starter for two or three years if need be. Flynn, I'm less convinced of. You know, the Seahawks took Matt Flynn thinking he'd be the starter and mm -hmm. it didn't work out that way. But we've seen around the NFL in the past two seasons how important it is to have a good backup. Sure. So the Seattle certainly doesn't lose a whole lot by keeping him as their number two quarterback, especially when your starter is a guy like Russell Wilson who runs outside the pocket and puts himself in the no line question. of danger. We've seen over the past couple seasons with concussions and everything that happens to quarterbacks, how important it is to have a number two quarterback. Just ask the Indianapolis Colts from 2011. We saw the Bears who got Jason Campbell, the Cowboys, Kyle Orton, the Redskins drafting Kirk Cousins and keeping Rex Grossman last year. So yes, Seattle will get something good. If they get a trade, they'd want to do it, but they have a pretty good number two there with Matt Flynn. Yeah, I think the only thing that would, that would uh, prevent them from doing that is the fact that Matt Flynn and Russell Wilson, two different styles of quarterbacks. It worked this year, Wilson didn't get hurt. If he, if he were to go down, they'd probably want a backup whose skills maybe match Wilson's just a little bit more because the Matt Flynn offense and the Russell Wil Wilson offense are two entirely different things. Well, there are a lot of teams have to figure out what they're doing at the quarterback position. Do they go for an Alex Smith or Matt Flynn? Do they wait for the draft or two? Do they stick with what they have? And we'll see what Seattle decides to do with Matt Flynn. What do you think the Seahawks should do with their number two quarterback? Let us know on our YouTube page and head to our website at ProFootballWeekly.com.